the Grand Canyon. Nonfiction and fiction. The Grand Canyon is an American landform. Its sides are higher than a skyscraper. Years ago, some people said that a giant named Paul Bunyan made it. But what's the real story? As you read, look for what is the same and different in the two stories. Paul Bunyan. Boys and girls, write your first name, last name, and date at the bottom of your Scholastic News. Nonfiction. How the Grand Canyon was made. Once there was no Grand Canyon. The land was high and flat. It was made of many layers of rock stacked on top of each other. So how was the Grand Canyon made? Carving the Canyon. Millions of years ago, the Colorado River began to flow over the land. It cut into the rock. Over time, the river cut into the rock more and more. It made a deep gash called a canyon. Wind and rain wore away at the canyon too. The canyon got wider and deeper. After millions of years, the canyon was huge. Today, it is so big that astronauts can see it from space. You can see the layers of rock from long ago. They make colorful stripes in the canyon walls. The Grand Canyon today. Now, millions of people visit the Grand Canyon every year, and the river still flows along the bottom, carrying tiny pieces of rock away and making the canyon even bigger. The United States, Arizona. The Grand Canyon is in Arizona. So boys and girls, here is Arizona and way over here is Massachusetts and Cape Cod is sticking out into the Atlantic Ocean right there. And the Grand Canyon is way over here, okay? Now we are going to read the fiction story. Fiction. The story of Paul Bunyan. A tall tale is a type of funny story. In a tall tale, people can do things that are impossible in real life. When people write tall tales, the word sounds as if they are speaking rather than writing. Many American tall tales are about Paul Bunyan. He was a giant lumberjack, a person who cuts down trees. Here's a tale about how he created the Grand Canyon. How can you tell it's a tall tale and not the true story of the Grand Canyon? Paul carves a canyon. Paul Bunyan was the best lumberjack there ever was. He was as tall as a five-story building. Folks say he was so big, he used tree branches to brush his hair. One day, Paul was tired of carrying his giant axe. He dragged it behind him. It carved a great big hole in the ground. Paul turned and saw what he had done. He picked his axe up again, but it was too late. He had dug out the Grand Canyon. 
Could one man really be big enough to carve a canyon? Okay, boys and girls, we're going to read the article, then answer the questions. Walking in the sky. Would you like to see the Grand Canyon? Visit the Grand Canyon Skywalk if you are brave enough. The Skywalk sticks out past the edge of the canyon. It has a glass floor. You stand on it and look down into the canyon. It's like you're floating. If you visit it, you'll have to leave your camera and phone behind. You might drop them and scratch the glass. The skywalk is 4,000 feet above the bottom of the canyon. So boys and girls, here's the canyon over here. Here is where you come out and there is a glass floor that you can look down and see directly to the bottom of the canyon. Question one, why can't you bring a phone? Circle, mine says click, but yours is gonna say circle, the sentence that tells you. So up here, find the sentence that says why you can't bring a phone and circle that sentence. Question two, what is the floor of the skywalk made of? Metal, wood, or glass? Question three, what could be another headline for this article? Where to hike? a grand statue or a grand canyon view. So instead of walking in the sky, what could be a different headline? Where to hike, a grand statue or a grand canyon view? Question four, how far above the bottom of the canyon is the skywalk? Mine says click, but yours is gonna say circle. So circle the sentence that tells you how far above the bottom from the canyon the skywalk is. Bonus, AKA challenge question, AKA mandatory. You have to answer. What would you want to stand, sorry, would you want to stand on the skywalk? Why or why not? Ooh, make sure you use a full sentence. I would want to stand on the skywalk because, or I would not want to stand on the skywalk because. Ooh, I can't wait to see what you guys write. Landforms. Beautiful Earth. From space, we can see what makes up Earth's surface. Land and water. Land can be many shapes and heights. Each of these different kinds of land is called a landform. Laying over our amazing planet, we can see many different kinds of landforms below. Here, we see plains. A plain is a large, flat area of land. The ground rises into landforms called hills. Hills are mounds of earth. The land can rise even higher high up into the clouds and become landforms called mountains. Some mountains have snow at the top, even in summer. That's because it's colder the higher up we go. Zoom down the mountain and we might find a valley. A valley is a low area of land surrounded by mountains or hills. The mountains or hills can cast long shadows over the valleys as the sun moves through the day. One kind of valley is incredibly deep and narrow. Often a river runs through it. This kind of valley is called a canyon. These are cliffs, landforms made of high, steep rock. We can look down from cliffs into a valley or an ocean. The ocean's mighty waves crash to the shore. Oceans are the largest bodies of water. They are made of salt water. Most of our Earth is covered with oceans. Sometimes
times in oceans and lakes, we see islands. An island is a piece of land surrounded by water. Look at the river flow through the land. A river is a large natural stream of water that flows into a lake or an ocean. A river is made of fresh water. What an amazing earth we all share.